Welcome to episode 1209 of the Monthly Payment Collective. Tonight, let's talk about motivating by the modem. <laughs> so recently, I read a, a, an article or a blog post where Sam Zell was being interviewed at, at a conference. And one of the things that he talked about was returning to the office. So that's uh, a hot topic, obviously, in our industry and industries across the country. And Sam's take is that it's very hard to motivate by modem. That is to say by Zoom or by Teams meeting or by Google Hangouts or whatever video mechanism you use uh, to have meetings with your teams. And his point, the overarching point was getting back to the office and getting in those scenarios and situations where you can collaborate in person, whether that be collision points by the coffee maker or the water cooler or in the hallway or meetings by design, whatever architecture you have in terms of meetings, whether it be daily huddles or weekly meetings or uh, monthly meetings, quarterly meetings, annual meetings, things of that nature, getting together in person and having those formal and informal meetings that breed better ideas. We all know that when you get one or more people in a room and you're talking about something, I hate the word brainstorming or the phrase brainstorming, but when you get one or more in a room and you start bouncing ideas off of one another, it never fails. It rarely fails that you don't get better ideas out of those collaborations where people are just bouncing ideas off of each other with no real aim in mind aside from trying to solve a problem. You get the you get a, a problem in a room, you get a bunch of smart people in a room and you start debating the finer points from various perspectives in the organization and more times than not you yield good ideas and, and bring that person to, to the problem problem very quickly so sam's point of not being able to manage by modem or lead by modem is a germane point as it relates to uh, getting back to per getting back to work in person i'm not an advocate for getting back to the office full time uh, i don't think that i ever will be i think that i was uh, running into the the premise of hoteling and dropping into the office and using boardrooms and conference rooms in lieu of an office like almost 10 years ago now. So uh, I've been an advocate for remote work for a very long bit of time. So the idea of going back to the office full time is not something that I'm an advocate for, but I am an advocate for meeting in person because of the synergies and the energy that you get from each other in terms of solving problems, big, hairy, audacious problems. You need people in person to solve them. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.